Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We're currently here in Fonset Village, but our business for this episode lies elsewhere. We are going back to Gormon. Heading back to Torgoth because there are a couple things I want to take care of here. That was a slog. Now let's let the now world draw itself in. Oh, there's a Merc mission up there. Well, let's go check that out first, shall we? Oops. Okay, I didn't want to talk to her, but what have you got? Tataka. There we go. Meh meh. Perfect place for wind on face. Hi there. Meh meh. Did this not what it looked like? Tataka not slacking off. Tataka was just resting wings. Really? Sumpkin's bearing so much fruit this year, it's getting too hard to keep up with harvest. At this rate, valuable Sumpkin's going to get bruised and not be able to sell on market. If Tataka only... If only Tataka had more helping hands. Okay, Merc mission. Yeah, we'll handle it. You going to help Tataka out? Oh, that would be big help. Tataka going to keep slack, or er, resting here a bit longer. Hope friends can help get harvesting all done smoothly smooth. Tataka loves climbing tall things, so ultimate goal is now to reach top of World Tree. World Tree go up and up into clouds, so not know how tall. But must be scenery like dream at summit. That Tataka sure of. It dream of Tataka to climb to top of World Tree and drink hot cup of Gourmati honey tea. Well, good luck, little Nopon. Let's see. Now up there at the top of the windmill, there's a heart to heart sooner or later. I'm not sure, though, if it's available yet. So let's go on up and check. I know you have to have reached the point where Zeke joins your party, and hey, we're there. So might as well take a look. The Tyrkin that Avon brought in makes surprisingly effective personnel. They always t they take their guard duty seriously, and they always have a good attitude. And their skills with those bows. Bows are great weapons, you know. They keep costs down so much. Alright, so... Jump over here. Alright. Up here. Seeing the heart to heart symbol up here. Hmm. Do I have to have Zeke in the active party? Hmm. Nope, looks like it's just not available yet. I don't know when it becomes available. Oh, well, let's bring Tora back. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Drop down fast. Oh. 
tried to catch a hold of the ladder before I hit, but... Oh. Okay, that one, I should have grabbed hold of the ladder as I was going down, but... Hmm. Oh, wall painting. Very well. It is good to dwell on the okay, past on from the time control. to time. Fascinating. One in the belly of the hermit. Okay. I've no idea what that's about. Right then. The actual reason I'm here. Vess. She's been standing here for quite a while. Oh my. Well, this is a bit of a sticky situation, isn't it? Uh, can I help you? Oh, hello there. You don't often see a blade wandering about on her own. Where's your driver? My name is Vess. As it happens, I'm actually a blade. Um, yeah, I literally just said that. You seem to be worrying about something. Anything we can do? Yes, well, I came here to do some shopping, but they don't have what I'm looking for in stock. And since more Ardain are regulating what gets through to Gormod, there are a lot of products that don't make it to the marketplace. I know. Would you mind terribly picking out some ingredients for me? I would go myself, but I don't really have the luxury of straying too far. Please, I'd be very grateful. Sure, I don't mind. What's this fancy stuff you're after? Oh, I'm not sure you could call it fancy, per se. I'm looking for five clumps of salty soil, eight portions of grom rice, and five ruby mango seeds. I'm pretty sure I have all of that. I'm always in the area, so just come back here when you're done. Tora, understand. We'll be waiting here, too. Tranquility. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I have all of that. Yeah, I do. Your Grom rice and salty soil you can get in Oriya. I'm not sure about ruby mangosteens, but I definitely remember picking up lots of them. Here you go. Why, thank you. This is everything, isn't it? It must have taken you quite some time. It's no problem at all. No, really, thank you. Could I perhaps invite you around for dinner? It's the least I could do. Much thanks. My house is on the far side of Treadle Windmill Plaza. Do come. Okay. A bunch of drivers got arrested by an Ardanian squad at Trin Twin Trunks Hill recently. Oh yeah, I remember that. We beat them up. And then basically lured in the army to take him to take them into custody. Why would someone who got the chance to become a driver go and ruin it all by doing bad things? There are people who'd exploit... There are people who do anything to be a driver. How dare they exploit their blades like that? Let's see... I believe this is the place. Yep, there she is. Oh, hello again. Hmm, visitors? Indeed, these sweet people were kind enough to help me with the shopping. I thought we might treat them to a meal. Eh, what the heck. Grub's better when you can enjoy it in good company. Make yourselves at home. This is Mabin, my driver. He's not the spring chicken he used to be, but he was once quite the formidable warrior, believe it or not. I suppose you could call this his retirement home. Just don't tell him that. Tee hee. Vests sound very happy. You can tell they get on well together. I'll start preparing dinner then, shall I? Won't be long. Is there anything we can help you with? Oh, well, now that you mention it, how about fetching us some firewood? Firewood, got it. Just talk to Ward down at State's Lumber Company. He's always happy to give us some. Thank you so much for all this. Don't suppose Vess will notice if I have a quick nibble while she's in the kitchen. Really? Ah, er, you're none of that, you hear? Right. Okay. 
Okay then. Dward. I've talked to him a few times. There he is. So you're fetching firewood for Vess, eh? And here I was looking forward to saying hello to her. Kidding, kidding. My humor's a little on the dry side. Just head over to the scrap pile. You'll find plenty of firewood there. Help yourselves. Much thanks. Incidentally, how's the old man keeping? Still his sprightly self? Yep. Good to hear, good to hear. I owe a lot to Maybon way back when. He's ordaining himself, but he moved here to Torgoth of his own accord. Up until recently, he was teaching Gormati drivers how to handle themselves. But his body couldn't keep up with it. Hell of a thing, old age. Anyway, I'd better let you go. Best not to keep Vess waiting, eh? We return. Great work! <laughs> Where's the pile? Is that it? Yep, there we go. That Cordell village, the one that got occupied by bandits. Yeah, I don't think there's any hope of it recovering. Pretty much all the residents were killed and the buildings were ruined as well. What can you do at that point? It was only a small village without even a military station, but still... People sure do some awful things, huh? I can only pray for the people of Cordell to rest in peace. Oh, look at that. Dev level 3. More Merc missions. Once they all get sorted out. Okay. This is what happens. <laughs> Nicely done, chaps. It's such a mundane statement, but he makes it sound so... evil. <laughs> so the mercs went to the town of Mirma and Gorma. We'll get them next time. My strength grows by the day. With attacks like these, no one will be able to beat us. My strength grows by the day. Okay, electric mastering forest. Right? This should open up our options a little. Fire mastery and salvage mastery. Okay, he's almost done. Only three more nodes that he hasn't opened yet. Yeah, Allies of Justice is almost done. Harvest help. That's for that Nopon. Bumper crop bring problems, namely getting fruit off trees before it spoils. Can you help with harvest? So I need an earth blade. Production mastery, transport mastery, and agronomy. Alright. Production mastery. No earth blades with that. Okay, transport mastery. Alright, there's an earth blade. A couple earth blades, in fact. And you will come finish the job properly. Yes, sir! Go on! Okay. So, someone with agronomy, huh? Crosette has that. I could send her. Oh, she's in the other Merc mission. Hmm. Let's send Boris. You need my help? And then he can lead. We'll be the voracious Vanguard! Hey ho! Best of luck to you. Right. Gotta get through all this. Bravest of the brave, back in the house. Nicely done. It's proof that justice has been served. Poppy, initiate rest mode. Lots of merc points for that. 
But it'll be all smiles from now on. So, he has these three useless field skills. What do I have to do to open this one? Just increase trust? Okay. Okay, this condition is question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, Alright, well, just gotta keep working on his trust to get this one open. But I don't want to hurt anyone. Well, too bad, you're a blade. It's your duty. Chases on. Strength 40 plus. 3 of. Wow. <laughs> I'm not doing that anytime soon. Forest fire prevention. Two animals, three water plants. There was a lightning strike in Inigo Forest. I need to get up there quickly to make sure it didn't start a wildfire. So please provide a guard axe for okay? Alright. If I sort by weapon class, the animals are all on top. And okay, so at your command. Two animals and two of the water blades all sorted. Passionate soul? Isn't that um, Godfrey's thing? Yeah, it is. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it. And then let's see. Let's find someone with forestry. Uh, and another water blade, which I need. Okay. Got it. I won't let you down. There we go. Now, let's see. Yeah, look at that. I have seven suggested field skills all, all sorted up. And I have the mission requirements. We're all set. Might as well let Godfrey lead. From today, we're the bravest of the brave. Follow me, everyone. Just show me the way. Okay. Now, let's see. I got a bunch of blades coming back. Hmm. Dagus is all fine and well, but he's a fireblade, and I got Pyra for that. Let's switch back to Agate. I hope I'll live up to your expectations. Or no, I changed my mind. Rock. Rock. Pleased to meet you. Because Tora already has the Earth element sorted. And then. I won't let you down. I hope, at least. Okay, so that should have all the elements sorted out. Alright, we got Vess's firewood. Got a bunch more of the Merc missions going. Even raised the dev level of this place. We're back again. <laughs> <laughs> Just waltz in unannounced, why don't you? Oh, sorry. It's just that Vess asked us to fetch some firewood. 
Oh, she did, did she? Well, good on you, kids. You can leave it over there for now. Hey, what was that you were up to just now? Huh? What was what? Well, it seemed as if you had swallowed something in your surprise. Nothing gets past you lot, does it? <laughs> I happen to be eating an Orion delicacy. Chocolate, they call it. Chocolate? Is it tasty? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Creamy sweetness with a note of bitter almonds intermingling in perfect harmony. One bite of the stuff and you'll never go back. It sounds so tasty. Tora already losing mouthwater. Tora want to try it. <laughs> We've had some for dear, quite a while. Dear. Mabon, how old are you? Eating chocolate in secret again like a naughty school child? Vess, no. It's not what you think. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't think so. How many times have I told you? You mustn't eat it all at once. Oh, well, you see, the thing is, I... You know, that Vess has got quite a presence sometimes, doesn't she? You can say that again. I'd hate to get on a bad side. You can't eat so much of this stuff, or your health is going to suffer. I'll take these, thank you very much. Oh, but... but... There's no use looking at me like that. I'm not falling for your tricks ever again. Oh, spoil sport. Now come on, don't be like that. Whatever will our guests think? Come everyone, dinner is served. She's right, naughty school child. <laughs> Ooh, rice balls. Are these dumplings? No, they're clearly rice balls. They're indeed dumplings. No, Dromark, they aren't. Uh, isn't there anything else? <laughs> Where is rest of food? Uh, I'm afraid that's all there is. So we've been dumped with nothing but dumplings. Oh, Correct. don't be so ungrateful. Just dumplings tonight. After all, they are my specialty. You should try them. They're delish. Really. Second best thing I ever tasted. Only second best? Yeah, first one being chocolate, by a mile. Oh, do give it a rest, Mabon. It's bad manners. Oh, this lot ah, don't care. Please feel free to tuck in. Help yourselves. Hmm. This delicious! Listen to Tora. It's not our fat. It's seasoned with just enough salt. Ah, uh, English localization. You just can't do anything Japanese, can you? Has to be dumplings and not rice balls. Oh well. I guess it kind of sort of comes out to the same thing, really. Can I ask you to buy me a sneaky bit of bitter chocolate on the side? I can't ask Vess or she'll just lecture my lugs off. She never buys the stuff for me. You're a crafty old man, you know that? Fine, we'll get some of this chocolate for you. Good lass. Uh, would you mind buying us a fruity rice ball along with the chocolate? Where do we find these things? For chocolate, you want to go to Fonsamima. But fruity rice balls is a dearth of them these days. They used to be all over Gormont. Argentum, too. I don't know. Maybe we'll see a resurgence once trade improves. Alright, we'll find it somehow. Thanks, lad. I'm counting on you. I'm pretty sure I have fruity rice balls. And I know I already have the chocolate. Let's see, those are uh, pouch items. Yep, there they are.
Here you go. Oh, what a treat. This is exactly the chocolate I was after. Thank you kindly. Could you deliver the rice ball to Vest for me? Da. I'm sure she'll be pleased with it. Yeah. For those not in the know about various accents of the English language, Ta is basically shorthand for thank you in uh, sort of the northern British Isles, like Scotland and the likes. Ah, that brings back memories. I used to eat these all the time. You don't see much of them around these days. But how did you know I like these rice balls? Let Tori explain. Ah, so Mabin told you. I see what's going on here. He asked you to buy him some chocolate, didn't he? Huh? I knew it. He thought he could fool me, didn't he? Honestly, I don't know what to do with that man anymore. I'll have to give him a proper telling off. <laughs> So he was trying to distract her by giving her the fruity rice ball she wanted so much so that she wouldn't come see him eating up on the chocolate, using us as cat's paws. I mean, that's kind of appropriate for Nia, she's a cat girl and all, but still kind of inappropriate. We gave her the fruity rice ball. She said she'd give you big telling off later. <laughs> I still think you made her day, though. Heck, there's no getting past her, is there? I'll have to brace myself, then, won't I? <laughs> <coughs> hey, are you okay, mister? <coughs> Miko, call Vess. Wait, <coughs> I'll be... I'll be fine. No use worrying the last. I'd appreciate it if you could keep this quiet from her. Yeah, but... I'm fine, don't you worry. I'm not going to keel over and kick the bucket just yet. That reminds me, though. Mind if I bother you with one more little errand? You want us to go get some medicine? Medicine? No. Let's see. It was about 30 years ago now, back when I was still serving. Me and Vess, we got our hands on a pair of golden bracers. Whoa. Yeah, rare find, isn't it? We were never particularly pressed for money back in those days, so we decided to hide them. I want you to bring them back for me. Okay, can do. Where did you put them? In the Thief of Forgetfulness in Moradin. Thing is, according to Vess... According to Vess... Ah, perfect timing. I was asking Rex here if he wouldn't mind fetching those old braces we buried back in the day. In the Thief of Forgetfulness, wasn't it? No, no, I think you've gotten mixed up. It was in the ruins of Fountain Park in the Kingdom of Araya, as I recall. Oh, was it? I don't remember burying them there. No, I'm positive. It was definitely in Araya. Hmm. Oh, I don't know anymore. Check both of those places and they'll turn up eventually. Wow, talk about careless. Well, if you can't remember, I guess there's no way around it. We'll just have to check out both of those places. Okay. I've definitely been to the ruins of Fountain Park near Fonts of Mima. So, I'll have that on the skip travel menu. It's not actually in Fonsamima, it's just near Fonsamima. Yep, there it is. Ruins of Fountain Park. I don't remember for sure whether I've been to the Thief of Forgetfulness yet or not, but I don't think I have. At least not in this save file. Meh! Long journeys make Tora tired! Refresh Let's and set off again! Here. I'm not entirely sure where to go. Maybe down there? Hmm. Huh. Maybe down there? Well, worth a look at least. Oh. If this was wrong, I can always skip travel back up. Ha, ah, this must be it. Treasure acquired. Treasure 
Treasure acquired. The left golden bracer. And a fair amount of money. Should I really just picked up that money though? <laughs> it's kind of his, isn't it? Or perhaps I should say theirs. Well, anyway. I found the item here. Now, more Ardain, Thief of Forgetfulness. I don't remember. No, I've not found it yet. I know exactly where it is, though. It's a secret area. But if you happen to know exactly how to get there, it's pretty simple. The first time, though, it can be really tricky. That was a slog. Let us go. So you have to go to the bridge here. And then down here. Hmm. Is that really an Ardanian soldier or is that one of those uh, rebels who wear the same outfits? Well, no matter. So, there's kind of a hint with that collection point right there. Geronimo! Oh. What have we here? In my experience. Let's see. There's another collection point down there. Another few collection. Oh, darn it. Oh. That was poorly judged. Again? Anyway. Let's uh, not fall uh, down there like what that. What are we here? Okay, and now go this way. Uh, and then down here. Uh, come out, come out. Come on, come Flora on. Flora heals an Please aching soul. Please open your hearts to me. Well then, so the thief of forgetfulness is down there, and up. I mean, it's possible to get down there. I sh can probably jump from here. But I don't want to, because I need to go this way. Now, this... This path is so steep that if you run at normal speed, you'll sort of... You can end up going too fast and sort of jumping off the edge and landing down far enough that you get killed. So you have to be kind of careful back there where it suddenly turns a lot steeper. Oh, what of you? Wow. Amazing. Let's see. Come out, come out. I adore fishies. Yeah, so shiny. Fishy, fishy, cute. Fish? Here? Okay, if you say so. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Oh look, it's a crust dip. One of those Bafu crust dips, in fact, that Pyro wants. There's a few of them here. Excellent, excellent. This Let's take care of that while we're here. Lightning bolt, topple! Oh man. I wasn't looking, honest. You just keep entering my field of vision, is all. I was about to call out Pyra and have her do her level three. 
Was this good enough to get one of them? Oh, darn it. It's Y, not X. Yes, it was good enough. As long as she's quote unquote equipped, then she'll get it. Okay, that's good to know. So even if I don't manage to bring her out in the fight, it still counts. Watch yourself, Rex. All right, so maybe we'll get out of this alive. Yeah. Master Rex. 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 Why not? All right, there's another one right here. Let's hey, don't run away. Three. Come on, then, Rex. Rolling smack. Come on, Rex. 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 Hey, Nia, I just found the shiniest trinket. You want to see? Hey, Nia? Yeah, yeah, I'll check it out, Victor. You're such a child sometimes. Okay, so here's another one. This will be a walk in the park. Maybe we'll get out and smash that master So good. So I should only need one more of those. What have we here? I adore fishies. Ooh, so shiny, fishy, fishy. cute. I wonder if I'll be lucky enough that there'll be another one of those crust tips around here somewhere. And doesn't look like it. What's this? Oh, the Anangam Gate Key. Yeah. I forgot that this was here. And the thing I'm actually here to look for must be right here. Yep. Treasure acquired. Treasure acquired. Okay then. Is there another crust up around here? That sure would be nice. I could just get Pyra's thing taken care of right here and now. A salvage point. Tempting, but not right now. Last, I think there is not... I think there are not any more crust tips around here. That is... Irritating? Hmm. Okay, well, I can actually fix that pretty fast. Skip track. And we're you. Let us go. Yep, they've respawned. Let's show them a thing or three. I'll let you know if so you start to bash. Smash. 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 Gracious Vanguard has returned! I hope you will be the bearer of good news. Alright, that took care of Pyra's thing. I 
I'll wield this power to protect my friends. Excellent. Now what's this one? Still question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. And make food for this one. Hmm. All right. Well, I got all that taken care of. And I forgot to switch back to Mithra. It was easy as pie. Oh, pie. Well met. Okay. I've still got a ways to go. And still some more informal. Stranded Merchant. A merchant fell from a cliff on the way to Torgoth from the same village. He's injured and can't move, so can you send someone to rescue him? I can. It sounds like you already know where he is, though. Eh, whatever. Three Bitballs. Botany, Justice Loving Soul, which is uh, Godfrey, and Leaping. Well, I know that Percival has leaping, so I can send him. I withdraw reluctantly. And let's see. Bop. Bitfalls. One. But more eggs. Okay. Weapon class. Let's check out the big balls. Hmm. Secret set. Sure. I take that back. Let's check one more thing. Let's check salvaging mastery and see if there are any bitballs who have that. Two. One of them's Boreas. You need my help? I'll be in the other party then. Anyone else have leaping? No, just Percival. I can think of another rare blade that has it, but I haven't gotten that blade yet. Okay. I vowed to carry out my sworn duty. Alright, now that I have the bit balls, let's send a few botanists. Uh, I have quite a few people with botany, don't I? Yes, sir. Okay, understood. Yeah, first of all, you can leave this one. Henceforth, you will be known as the Banners of Flame. We depart. Just show me the way. Alright. Forest fire prevention is about to come back. Kind of late for us to be coming calling. Let's rest the spell. Let's get going. Kiara, how are you doing? Well, Marty loved their national instrument, the Torgonda. But it's so hard to hit the right notes, and I'm starting to get fed up of hearing it. I want to play something else now. 
Wouldn't it be nice if Gormont started collaborating with other cultures to make some totally new instrument? I bet they come up with something really weird and unique. Hopefully not too weird, though. No point if you can't get a decent tune out of it. Hey, us again! All friends return safely! Alright. Well, aren't you glad you asked me? Poppy, initiate rest mode! I've still got room to improve. Okay, doing well though. I've still got room to improve. Mm. But you don't have very many voice lines. <laughs> Renowned good. Ethereum goods are renowned for their handmade quality, so I will import large amounts. I'm short a few guards, so could you lend a hand? Yes, I definitely want to get those contracts. I need two knuckle claws, two bit balls, and suggested as transport mastery and production master. Transport mastery. Knuckle claw, no here's the two knuckle I claws. I'll fit right in. And hey, a bit ball. I'll finish the job properly. And now production mastery. Let's see if there are any bit balls in there. There are. Well, there's one. I'll finish the job properly. Excellent. And uh, I'll finish the job. Right send a couple. Chroma Katanas, because why not? Wait a second, what does this guy have? Wind Mastery and Production Mastery? Why did I favor that? Though? Oh well, never mind. That's good enough. Although I'm now noticing they're all rare blades. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, who should I make the leader? Got the field skills. Just because this guy has a uh, collection point field skill, I'll make him the leader. Cuts, Katsumasa. Darn it! Uh, I pushed X. Because I was on these blades over here instead of these over here, it removed the one I was had highlighted. Ah, uh, how do I get that one back? Uh, transport master. Is this it? Yeah, this. One. I'll finish the job properly. Okay, Katsumasa gets to be the leader. Whatever the task, I'm up to it. Party, follow me. Just show me the way. Okay. Yeah, so it's a bit late to be calling, isn't it? Looks like they've gone inside to go to bed or something. wall painting. Why does it look like the wall painting has a dialogue option? One in the belly of the... Her okay, I guess technically it does. Alright, looks like we're a bit late. Well, let's turn the clock up a bit. There he is.
Hey, Mr. Mabon, we found what you were looking for. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, you did. Let's have a look. Yes, that's them, all right. It turned out you both right. We find one in Moradain and other in Oraya. Is that right? Well, I never. You're good kids for doing all this, you know that? Thank you. Eh, it was nothing. Now, there's one last thing I'd like you to do for me. Uh, there's more? Afraid so. I need you to deliver those braces to my son and daughter. They've each got their own families now, out living in different nations. Fine, I guess we might as well see this through to the end. That's the ticket. Thank you, lass. My son, his name is Antis. He should be in Alba Cavendish in Moradain. And my daughter is called Noel. She's living in Fonsamima in Oriya. I trust you get the bracers to them. And of course, I'll be sure to reward you handsomely when you're done. Huh. Okay. So now I need to go back to Fonsamima and Alba Cavendish. I was just there. But, okay. Let's see now. Hmm, the map doesn't really have a clue as to where I'll find them. Well, let's just start at the front gate and work our way inward. Since it's the active quest, it'll show up on my compass. Let's rest the spell. Let's get going. Well, what does Valeria have to say here? So you know how I was complaining about the cost of living going up? No? Well, either way, from what my son tells me, the price of commodities should drop as Araya develops as a country. The more we buy and sell, and the more problems we solve, the more we'll improve. There's little I can do to contribute at my age, but you youngsters can certainly do something to help. Yeah, well, as long as I'm here, I can check out the sweet shop, replenish my supply. Peach jelly? That's expensive. It's not. It's only about half the price of Narsapare jelly, but still. That's a new item. I don't remember it being here before. Well, let's get some. I can afford it easily. And let's see, what happens if I buy one of these. Does that cause the D to turn up? Yes! The D! Decreases out of battle party gauge drain rate by 25%. Haha! <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Uh, looks like there are a couple people to talk to up there. But that's not what I'm aiming for. Aha! There she is. Hi, Noel. Yes, how can I help you? From Daddy? Oh gosh, well thank you for coming all the way here to deliver it. Wait, this is a golden bracer. It looks so expensive, I'm not sure I can accept this. Then again, it is from Daddy. How are he and Vess doing these days? Vess looked after me and my brother for most of my childhood, you know. She's very calm and gentle for a blade, the kindest one I know. Oh, that reminds me. Here. It's a necklace made from peony stone. If you see Vess, could you please pass it on to her? Torin, friend's handler. Thank you, that's very kind of you. Alright then. I wonder, should I go back and give that to Vess now, or should I just continue on to Alba Cavendish? And also, I wonder if Dagus would be happy with these things. Let's buy one and see what his affinity chart says. Okay, make way for me. So, did I have one before? Now I have two? 
I don't know. I'll buy another one. If this now says I have three, then that means I'm doing the right thing to get that one to go up. Oops, wrong blade. Ha-ha! I wonder, is it... Does it have to be ten unique items? Or can I have, like, three of all of these and then one other item? Well... I'll have ten unique items anyway. Wait, what's that up there? Furara. I recognize that name. It's been a while since I've seen him. Hello, friend. Hello, friends. Furara was reflecting on bitterness of existence. People of Uriah and Moradain seem to like doing wars. Napon not do wars really, but world of merchants fraught with competition. Peace means no winners or losers, but life always have winners, so people must be must trying to not lose. Life very cruel. Hmm. Voltus Trade Guild Waki Waki guidebooks say conflict is source of opportunity. Furara brought many fusty fungus, so maybe try selling to Uriah Army to get monies for travel. Anyway, maybe we meet again. Best of luck! Okay. Yeah, Furara. It's been a while since I've bumped into him. Okay, now I need to go to Mardane. Oh, another sweet shop? Oh, right, the theater food. Champs, churros, and bitter chocolate. Cylinder Crafter Seesaw? Uh, I think I remember that. Huh. Friends bring seesaw materials for make booster cylinder? No, apparently not. No zigzag shafts. Alright then. Speaking of cylinders... Hey there friends, I got plenty of vintage cylinders for you. They're not- they're only vintage because nobody's buying. Yeah, you've used up a whole bunch. Let's restock. Not just because I want more cylinders, but also that might increase the dev level around here. It'll be a while though, I'm, I'm at dev level 3 with Araya. It'll be a while before I get to dev level 4, so I might as well start putting in the effort at that, right? And some people up here to talk to. Hey Jerome, oh. There's something I never knew. If a core crystal remains intact, you can bond with it again. Apparently the blade loses its memories, but looks exactly the same. But you can't do it straight away. You have to wait until the crystals return to its normal color. Yeah, we already figured that out. Abdel. A few members of Torna showed up in this town a little while ago. I was thinking of trying to arrest them myself, but it was just me, so I didn't have a hope. Looks like they're mobile enough to appear anywhere they like, though. They've got a really smart ship, that's for sure. It's not made out of a Titan, either. It looked like a thing from another era, if you ask me. Something using some kind of forgotten technology. Salvagers, in other words. Okay, well... We've done enough here. Let's head back to... Uh, Pablo Kavanich. And I'm not sure where this guy will, it will be found.
That was a slog. Not Let too far go. away, it would appear. Oh, right up there. Hello? Who are you? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, from Daddy? Well, thanks for this. Must have been quite a trek. Golden Bracers. I remember hearing about these when I was a kid. Daddy and Vest are still their same old selves, I take it. I haven't seen them for yonks. Don't tell me. Vest is still making your same old dumplings? Me and my sister used to love those. We ought to all get together again sometime. I'd love to see Vest again. Oh, yeah. Could you pass this on to Daddy for me? It's an accessory. I made it myself. He'll probably never use it, but at least it'll remind him how we are. Leave it to me. Thanks a lot. Alright. As long as we're here, let's also check the sweet shop here in town. Uh, yes. There we go. And why does this woman have a trophy symbol over her head? Oh, what a... Pr oh, okay, it's a Florin thing. What a pretty girl. Hey, you're not so bad yourself. Thanks. You know, you're much too pretty for a blade. Ha <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> oh yeah? Hey, I've got some delicious homemade steamed milk bro broches here. Why don't you take one? Wow, it looks delicious. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope it keeps your strength up with all your blade duties. Huh? Yeah. Wow, ten of them? Okay. Huh. Let's take a quick look. Recharges arts by 0.1. That's pretty pathetic. But hey, it's free. Can't argue with that. I actually caught a glimpse of Special Inquisitor Morag recently, in the flash. Oh, she was so dashing. She effortlessly toppled that villainous boy to the ground and then launched him high into the air. And she rained attacks on him while he was helpless to resist. So elegant, so refined, it was like watching a master at work. Huh? That's not how you remember it. Don't taint my memories, that's how it looked to me from a distance. <laughs> Alright then. I think we're done here. Oh, got a bit of uh, Florin questing done too, that was convenient. And let me see now. Back to Gormont, Torgoth, Abel's Fountain. Meh. Long journeys make Dora wow, tired. Raining. Refresh and set off again. This is quite the storm. Get in out of the rain. We're back. Ah, good to see you. So, how are the barons? They seem to be getting on just fine from what I saw. Made sure to hand over golden bracers. Good, good. That's another thing off my mind. How were Anchis and Noel? They must have grown quite a bit since I last saw them. They both look like fine, respectable grown-ups. Oh yeah, they asked us to give you some things in return. Oh, how delightful. Said they'd love to have a reunion sometime, too. Oh, that would be wonderful. I'm getting excited already. I haven't seen them since they got married. How many years has it been now? Oh, we really must set a date. Oh, isn't this good news, Maybon? It is indeed. So they're just get so they're getting on just fine, are they? There I was worrying over nothing as usual. Mr. Mabin's looking very happy. Of course he is. Hearing your kids are coming to visit after a long time, anyone would be. Hold on. My belly's starting to rumble. Oh, goodness. Is it that late already? Don't worry. I won't be ten minutes. I'll make enough for everyone. 
So, what's on the menu today? As if you have to ask. I'll give you three guesses. Oh, all right. I'll play along. Could it be dumplings? Spot on. Really wouldn't have been such a big thing to just call them rice balls, but whatever. <coughs> you all right there, man? Yes, uh, don't you worry. Just a pesky little cough. She's a sweet lass, isn't she? Totally, and a cooking's top notch. If making of dumplings is same as cooking... She is perhaps a little misguided at times, but her love and compassion cannot be faulted. Right. My life never amounted to much, to be honest with you. I did some reckless things in my time, all to be the center of attention. And every time I bungled something up, Vess and the kids would suffer for it somehow. But Vess... She stuck by my side all the same. I went from the storm to the playing with her hair. Dearly departed, bless her soul, and started looking after the kids for me. She's become a part of the family now. I don't know what we'd do without her. <laughs> And that's why I just want her to have a good life. Do you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Are you all right? I'm fine. I just need to lie down for a bit. It seems like the best course of action. Let me just close my eyes a moment. Habon? Huh. You fall asleep? Yes, Tora? For one last time. No, I'm afraid he's already... No. Everyone's got to go someday, even drivers. It's a terrible thing, but that's just the way of the world. Uh. Ah, wait, where's Vess? Driver and Blades are inextricably linked. I expect she will return to her poor crystal. I'm gonna go and check on her. I'll come with you. True then. She really did go back. It must have happened so suddenly. It must have been a real shock. We able to awaken her again? You'll have to wait for a while first for the color to return to how it was before. But that mean all memories of Mabon all going to disappear? I'm afraid so. It is an inevitable part of the cycle. Such is the fate of all blades. But we remember. That right. If Poppy and others still remember, we have power to teach Vess about past. Poppy's sure she will be more than happy to rediscover old memories. Yeah, you're right. Mabot only wanted what was best for Vess. We have to do what we can to make her happy. Yeah, that's a good quest, really. Mabon breathes his last as he speaks of his true feelings for Vess. What did he really want for her in the end? Well, he said what he wanted. He wanted her to have a good life. And, you know, if you think about it, this whole quest was about him bequeathing his most important possessions 
to the people he either loved or felt he could count on. Mm -hmm. He he made sure that Vess would get a new driver who was dependable. And he made sure that his children got those heirlooms, those golden bracers. You know, both for the value, both for the you know, monetary value and the sentimental value to remember him. So, yeah, he was basically sorting out his affairs. And of course, there's the gold gear choker, which is uh, what Nabon's son made for him, and Helping Hand 2, which is what Noel made for Vess. I'm pretty sure that's what those are supposed to be. And, you know, since Vess and Mabon aren't with us anymore, there's not much else we can do with them except put them to good use ourselves. <sighs> you know, kind of a bittersweet quest, but ultimately I like the way that it just... Well makes this feel like a real living world with real living people in it. It's, that's one of the things about this game that I just like so much. The story and the world, it all feels personal and real. And that's just not something I've seen in the rest of the series. Including, I have to say, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I've been watching some streams of that game since it released, and yeah, it just doesn't have the same personal feeling that this game does. It has the same impersonal distance that I got from Xenoblade 1. It's not a bad game by any means, but yeah, it's just not for me. This... Xenoblade 2 is really my favorite in the series so far. Despite all of the flaws, it's just the one that's worked best for me. Let's see. Heard anything interesting lately? Lunana smoothies are so delicious. I love playing games with Pet here. Although that might be because I always win. Haha. -ha. My dad's going to Araya soon, so I'm going to ask him to buy us a new game there. Bet you're jealous, huh? Assuming he's talking to his friend here. Darn it, I didn't want to talk to the same kid again. Anyway, these are the two who we helped a ways back when they were having that argument. Mmm, Lunana smoothies are yummy. I can never drink a whole one though, so I go have these on them with Callum. Hey Callum, let's play Chubby Tubes after this. I'm gonna win this time. Yeah, those are the kids we helped before. Now there's one more thing to do in Torgoth here. Yeah, I've been trying to remember. Uh, wait, he doesn't have it. Huh, okay. He doesn't have the information I want. Let's see. Who are the informants who do have it? I'm pretty sure the one in Alba Cavanich has it. Let's go talk to that person. I uh, could have done that while I was here before. I mean, I've only been here twice. This is the third time now. Let's rest a spell. Let's get going. Durma. Yep, there we go. Core Crystal Hunters. You know, I am absolutely sure that in my test playing, I was able to learn this information without having to buy it from an informant. A bandit group has been targeting folks transporting Core Crystals to Torgoth. I'm sure that I got it by talking to someone and not purchasing it from an informant, but I just haven't been able to find who I spoke to. So, yeah, just went ahead and bought it. Meh, long journeys 
make Tora tired. Refresh and set off again. The rainstorm's cleared up. And there was another thing that this guy did have. Greedy monster. Oh, and a gourmati recipe. I need that. Well, I don't need it, but I want it. A recipe for pan-fried tartari expands Pyra's cooking repertoire. And greedy monster. A monster that ate a famed driver has been seen in Chansaw Wastes. Alrighty then. Let's see now. Core Crystal Hunters. The bandit group has been targeting folks transporting core crystals to Torgoth. If I remember correctly... Oh wait, there's an art store here. Okay. There's daggers like these. Let's see. He does. Okay. Let's get one of each. Woodcut print of Banna. <laughs> Okay, I don't really need that, but apparently Dagus likes them, so... Wrong button. Okay, so I just need three more, and I can open this up. And then I'll need five more to get this, and fifteen more to get this, wow. And once I have all those opened up, go to Medoro Bridge and more Ardain in the afternoon and complete the quest Lost Kingdom. Okay. But that's for later. Let's switch back to Rock. Rock! Pleased to meet you. And there's a quest over here. Lopey, or Lope, or whatever. Do you know anything about Tantal? Apparently there's some ruins there with a blade sealed inside. Some kind of scary blade that's supposed to bring disaster. That's what my great-grandpa said, anyway. I'm totally gonna go there and find that blade someday. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Ooh, mysterious. Girls? No. Blades. But who? Some nice core crystals you got there, drivers. Hand them over and nobody has to get hurt. It's for your own good. Looks like we found the core crystal hunters we were after. Huh. So you have heard of us. Come on now, hand over the crystals. Shall we, Praxis? But of course, dear theory. Let's go. Two against how many there? 10? Including the Aegis herself. Okay, time to take you guys. Nia, get up to level two, please. Perfect. 
Smash, smash, smash. Driver combo complete. And battle also, apparently. <laughs> You're not half bad. You are. Hey, what are you doing over there? Praxis. It's Imperial soldiers. Hmm. Come on. Time to go, Theory. Yeah. Wait. Don't move. I'm sorry. It seems I caused too much of a disturbance. Ah! Special Inquisitor Morag! My sincerest apologies. But what brings you here? We were, as it happens, in battle with the core crystal hunters terrorizing the area. Ah, we've heard rumors. Indeed. The culprits whom we were fighting were two blades. It's likely that they'll have others conspiring with them, drivers included. We'd certainly appreciate the army's assistance in this matter. But could I first ask you to report the details to your superior? Absolutely, Inquisitor. All right, shall we head over to Torigoth Relay Base? All right, another interesting side quest begun. In the relay base, speak to Yanis. Well, we're here. Let's get going. I actually feel this is the right place to end the episode. It's gone on for a bit. Padraig, I remember you. I got demoted for letting Torna get away. What? Oh, come on. That's not fair. I mean, we remember this guy. We uh, were dealing with him at the very start of the game. And... He was the one who was working for the uh, console, Dugas, Dougal, not Dugas, Dougal. I was mixing that up with Dagus, the blade. <laughs> anyway, he was working with console Dougal to try to find the Aegis, and, you know, he didn't actually fail at anything. I mean, he did capture Nia, who at the time, as far as anyone knew, was a member of Torna. And all the destruction and whatnot that happened afterwards was basically because Morag couldn't hold us. So what's this guy get demoted for? It's, it's, that's really not fair. Back to the old garrison patrol. That makes sense, says Tor. Oh, sure, rub salt in the wound, you little knop-on. But I've got to say, it's a fair sight better than being bossed around by a lousy boss. My salary took a hefty blow, but really that suits me just fine. I can get by. Yeah, that's really not fair, though. He he actually was fairly successful back during that whole debacle. Anyway, this is the guy we need to speak to. But, um... Yeah, that starts... Or rather, continues. We've already started it. Bye -bye, daytime. A pretty Master massive quest. Worked hard today. And I don't think I have time for it right now. So we're going to save that for the next episode. You know, thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the next episode, we'll finish off this Core Crystal Hunter side quest. Because, like the one with Vest that we just finished, it's a very interesting one. I think this one's definitely worth doing. And yeah, we will continue it in the next episode. See you later.